Welcome to the official press conference following the BMW IBU World Cup Sprint 7.5 km for the women. With us, the winner, Julia Simon from France. Julia is uh, the first victory in a sprint, a superb skiing performance. Can you get us through the race? Yeah, I'm really happy with uh, this sprint victory. It's, uh, it's uh, really important for me because I'm, I'm better on pursuit and start and I, I work a lot for from being a real B athlete and uh, and be performant uh, in individual races and today it was a really good race for me uh, good shooting I missed uh, the last one but uh, it was uh, really good and uh, uh, good shape on ski so it was a, a good day um, do you think that uh, coming to a new venue helped you maybe uh, refining a bit of uh, shape no I don't think so because uh, I think it was really hard for me in Cotiolati because uh, after two months in altitude, I need to find some uh, some speed on my ski. And um, here, it's uh, of course, it's a new venue and uh, it's really nice here. I, I, I raced here in IBU Cup, so I know the track. I know that uh, we need to, to stay really focused and not start too fast. So for me, it's a perfect day. I'm really happy to be here and I'm looking for, for tomorrow. And you said uh, you worked hard to, to get this uh, success in the sprint. What do you think uh, was about this format that didn't suit you before? Uh, it's hard to explain. Um, it's easy for me to be focused when I have a lot of people around me. Uh, uh, so I just try to, to do the same, but alone. And, uh, and um, today it was a uh, it was my my day and a good day and uh, I think I need to to be uh, like that every time and uh, maybe can be better day uh, <laughs> coming. Uh, there's only four individual competitions left in the season. What's the goal for you? Do my best, of course. Yeah, it's um, it's, uh, it's going to be already interesting races with. Um, two mass starts and one sprint and pursuit, so it's going to be really nice and uh, I just want to do my biathlon the uh, best I can and uh, and today it was a good day, so I uh, I need to do the same. You talked about the love for the mass start and the pursuit. We have two mass starts left and you are in the fight for the globe. Is that something you're thinking about? Mm, yes, of course. It's uh, always nice to, to fight for a globe, but uh, Last year I was fighting for two and uh, the last Masters was a, a disaster. So I, I know that I, I need to fight, but uh, I trying to, to race after race and just focus on, on the moment and not, uh, not thinking uh, too much about that. Well, uh, best of luck for tomorrow. Congratulations Thank again. Thanks. <coughs> and in second place, we have uh, Vanessa Vogt from Germany. Vanessa, congratulations. It's uh, the first podium in your career. So first thing, how does it feel? It feels amazing for me. It's uh, such a great uh, season for me. So today it's, yeah, it's the cherry of the cake for me. <laughs> it's only the first full season in the World Cup. Uh, when you started, did you expect that being so consistently at the top and finally getting the podium was possible? Um, I didn't believe that I can get the podium this year. I know um, I'm, I'm very strong on the shooting range, but um, in Contiolati I was uh, six with zero zero. So I know that I have to train on my shooting speed and on my um, course time. So I didn't expect it. But we've seen already at the Olympics a great improvement in the ski form. Today, the final loop was probably the, one of the fastest. Um, is it something that you felt coming in the past uh, few weeks? Uh, maybe I think um, that I get some extra power <laughs> in the last loops when I hear I'm very good today. So I don't know um, how the extra power um, but yeah, it's crazy. I give uh, all I have, so yeah. And how does it feel to get a podium in front of almost a full house? Yeah, it's very great. 
Um, the crowd is uh, very fair, sheer for every athlete, so it's it's amazing, uh, very loud, and yeah, cool. <laughs> Last year you won the total score in the IBU Cup. Is it uh, something that gave you uh, maybe the belief that the next step was possible? Yeah, the belief, uh, yes, but um, it's uh, it's another it's another yeah there are so great athletes here at um, the world cup so i didn't expect it um, that i'm so good um, this year because um, yeah uh, at the olympics it was the first time that i'm stand at the podium so it's unreal for me so now i get the first individual podium so it's unreal for me so yeah, it's uh, so great um, to do, uh, yeah, what I love and uh, give my best. Well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. And um, in third place, uh, representing Norway, Caroline Ofekstad Knotten. Caroline, congratulations. Welcome Thank back you. to the podium. Yes. It's a uh, second time and in a sprint. Yes. How's that? Oh, it's uh, well. I started the season last year with a podium, and it kind of went downhill from there. <laughs> and started really slow this year, but now I'm feeling better. And uh, yeah, it's uh, just really nice to put a good competition together. And uh, you actually left the shooting range in the first place. Yes. Uh, when did they tell you what what went through your mind? Uh, well, I, they I told me in the first uphill that I was in the lead with like 10 seconds, uh, which was kind of unreal because I had like st before 54 and I 53. So uh, I knew that this is going to be like, uh, if I stay here, it's going to be here. <laughs> um, probably though, but uh, yeah, Julia just came closer and closer. And I was like, told like 11 and six and three. And I was no. <laughs> I saw Julia on my second lap and I saw her speed and I was like, I can't match that. <laughs> and I was just, uh, the boys told me yesterday that you have to be really tough from the beginning because you can relax pretty much in the downhills. Uh, so I tried and I think my second loop was really good. I was really happy with it. Uh, but on the last one, I just I wasn't able to bend my legs anymore. It was. Uh, I tried to push all I had, but it just wasn't enough today. But a bit disappointed when I came to the finish line in third, but just like a moment's relief. And I was like, OK, this is really good. <laughs> so I'm happy. It totally is a great moment. And uh, as we said to uh, Vanessa, with uh, such an amazing crowd, it must be feeling even better. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just <laughs> it just feels really good right now. <laughs> I was just really looking forward to, I had to qualify to the mass start, so I managed. So I really, I'm just really happy to get a good end of the season. And uh, speaking of that, last year, obviously, you started uh, with the podium, you said, but this might be feeling very different in a way. Yeah, I feel yesterday it came as a, no, last year it came as a surprise, uh, kind of a surprising today as well, but um, I think it's been a really tough mentally this season. Uh, I haven't really figured out why I'm not working, um, both on the shooting range and but mostly in the track. Um, but I've, I started to feel good after Antolts, and then I knew I was not going to compete for a month because of the Olympics. So it was really tough, like being finally in a good shape and not being able to compete. But um, I think I managed to be positive pretty much and try to train. And I knew that after altitude, I re usually feel pretty good. Uh, so I tried to focus on these weeks and it's been working. So I'm just really happy that it finally comes together. Well, you should be. Congratulations uh, and best of luck for the master. Uh, thank you.